On February 28, we are going to have the official announcement from AMD of the upcoming RX 9070 XT and we have loads of new leaks. In this video, I'm going to show you few leaks slash rumors of the specifications, power consumption, benchmarks and some AIB models pricing and my opinion. Are you excited for the RX 97 XT? Do you think AMD will be aggressive and show some competition against NVIDIA? Let me know in the comments below. So let's start with the specifications and power consumption. Video cards just leaked some specifications. All this information comes from this Twitter user. I'm sorry, I just don't know how to say this name. Um, let's start with the power consumption. The XT version with 304 watts, no XT with 220 watts. If you compare with NVIDIA GPUs, the 57 Ti with 300 watts match the power consumption of the XT version, and the 5070 non Ti with 250 watts is slightly higher than non XT version. And if we compare with the previous generation of AMD with 7900 XTX with 355 watts, I start to think, or oh, maybe the 9070 XT can have close performance see the 7900 XTX is not that bad. Going back to the specification, let's start with the boost clock. The XT version with 297 GHz and the non XT with 252 GHz. As you can see, the non XT match with the 5070 non Ti, but the XT version is higher clock speed than the 5070 Ti. Going to the memory, 16 GB GDDR6 against the GDDR7 from NVIDIA, the memory bus of 256 bits, memory speed of 20 gigabits, the memory band 640 gigabytes, and finally confirm the support for the PCI Express 5.0 and the latest version of DisplayPort and HDMI. Now I have some synthetic benchmarks. In this article, they are comparing the, the performance of the XT version and non XT version with the previous generation from AMD, the 7900 GRE and the 7800 XT. And let's start with the OpenCL. As you can see, the, the XT version is between the 7900 XTX and the 7900 XT. The non XT version is in between the 7900 GRE and the 7800 XT. It's actually not bad at all, but remember, it's just a synthetic benchmark. It's not a real world gaming benchmark, but it's for me, it's still good. Going to the Vulkan, as you can see now, the XT version is, is below the 7900 XTX and the 7900 XT, but it's still over the. 7900 GRE and the non XT version is below the all these cards just over the 7700 XT but the video cards have more leaks this time the XT version matches the 7900 XTX in full mark 4k benchmark actually who gave this information is Thomas Gavronski sorry if I didn't say his name right according to Thomas Somebody used the pre-release driver's hacker to look like the 7900 XT and with the ID with the 97 series and it's very good because it's already faster than the 7900 XT as you can see in, in this graphic. And also video card claims the card score of this video card is almost the performance of the 7900 XTX faster than the 7900 XT 7900 GRE and 50% higher than the 7800 XT and AMD claims this GPU will be 40% uh, over the performance of the 7900 GRE in 4K game. And taking this information from AMD, if we go to Tech Power Up, use the 7900 GRE as a base model, which card is around 40% of the performance? Yes, the 7900 XTX, the 48 Super, and the 57 Ti. If this card comes with a good price, can be very good for us. And now after all these benchmarks, GPU-Z and IDA64, they are giving support to the 9070 series, as we can see in another video card news here. And AMD just confirmed they're not going to sell their reference model. 
that said, but we also have some very cool AAB models. This poor color head devil was listed in Micro Center and also confirming the 5.0 PC Express interface. Also, XVX is showing their flagship model. As you can see, one black model and one white model. And the best part of this news here, they are also talking about the Canadian price in Amazon. As you can see, 1300 Canadians is how much in US dollars? Nearly $900. Of course, is not a good price, but we can remember is a flagship model. And I have a slightly older leak this time from Amazon United States. As we can see here in the listing, $750, the cheapest model for the XT version and $650 for no XT version. Okay, I honestly, I would like to see the XT version around $700 and the no XT version for $600, but this, that's the reality. And if we compare with the 57 Ti prices, is actually not that bad. Uh, also, of course, the 57 Ti is with some ridiculous price. Uh, we have some high-end models here in Amazon United States. The, the most expensive one for $850, I believe is that flagship we, sh we show in the Canadian Amazon. Uh, as we can see, the prices, they will be is slightly better than the 57 Ti. Not ideal, but better and I, I just would like to see AMD going more aggressive with prices but that's the reality we have now the market is just crazy and that's it for the, the leaks and informations I have for today I'm going to give my opinion now so the 9070 series definitely looks a good product we're going to have the confirmation 28th of February but I still think they should go very very aggressive with price if they want to take more market share as we can see here in the steam survey the top gpus is all nvidia if they want to get more from this market okay a good product is very important good drivers good support is very important but everybody knows the most important is always the price and I'm actually exci getting excited from AMD. I, I was not that excited. And maybe I'm going to get one of these 9070 XT for my living room computer. Uh, right now I have the 3070 in my living room computer and in my work computer the 4080. And for me, it would be very nice to have another AMD card after so many years. I would like to see how is the performance in games and the performance doing content creation. And I do some game dev development as well. The, that's the last card I had from AMD back in the day. This, this card was released in 2012. I basically love this 7970. I had a crossfire of this one. Anyway, uh, that's it for the video uh thank you very much i was a video not planned at all to make but when i woke up i just saw loads of leaks and i decided to make this video uh subscribe give me a like all that blah 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 you heard from all youtubers i actually really need uh especially subscribers i'm just starting my youtube channel thank you very much see you next time